Hey YouTube, this is Jimmy from jimmyzdiy.com. Today's project is basically installing mud guards on my Hyundai Santa Fe 2020 that I just recently purchased. So this car did not come with, or the SUV did not come with the mud guards, and I wanted to buy mud guards to provide some prevent, um, some protection against the snow mud getting stick up in under my uh, rim area, like or the fender area right here, um, and under the body, obviously. So mud guards do offer some protection, but the uh, little downside to it is just reduces the clearance under the vehicle by a small like I would say like an inch or two depending on the type of mud guards you're gonna use so I'm installing the genuine Hyundai part and it's not Hyundai sponsored so I purchased these myself um, for today's project you're gonna need the genuine Hyundai uh, mud guards and you're gonna need your handy dandy Allen wrenches um, or if you have a star screwdriver that works perfectly fine I don't have it so I'm gonna use my Allen um, and Let's get started. All right, so for today's project, you're gonna have to open these four screw, uh, screws. Uh, one, two, three, and four inside over there. Uh, I'm gonna try to get closer, but it's a very small slot in here. These one, two, three, and one is inside. So you're gonna have to remove those and install your mud guard on it. Um, using the screws they provided so let's get started all right so this is marked uh, one here says RH that's gonna go on this side and it's gonna simply go like this um, and you're gonna just have to tighten the screws on this thing right, so I'm gonna start removing these screws It would be a little bit easier if I had to turn if I turn the wheel on the other side or but I'm gonna just go like that so let me go ahead and remove all these screws and get back to you guys so not a it, it's really bad spot to see but these are the screws I took off um, notice they gave you a Phillips screwdriver screw so you're gonna have to use these because these are a little bit longer um, the mud guards are a little thick uh, you can see here so these you need to use the Phillips screwdriver uh, screwdriver to screw these bigger screws in so let's get started Life a little bit easier I cut the wheel on the other side so um, I'm gonna install this I'm trying to get get this uh, good picture right here so It's not really heavy, it's like small. Once you got like one or two screws in, it's not going anywhere. Plain and simple. Fairly easy on Hyundai Santa Fe. And you get like a, one of these plastic clips that you got. You're gonna have to put this on the bottom. There's a spot. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I could get the picture underneath it. All right, guys. So I don't know if the camera shifted the angle, but this is the place where you're going to fit one of those plastic retainers so it doesn't wobble. And this is right at the mud guard area. This is where we were before. Screw one, screw two, screw three, and then one that's in there, and then right underneath it, it's right over here. Uh, get to the further screw, the, the far end one, I just turn the wheel on the other side, and I'm gonna take my screwdriver and tighten it. It's done for this side, and let's go. I'll show you the rear side. I got the rear one in my hand. Uh, I will put the part numbers in the description and uh, I will put in the video as well. So this is the rear one. It's a small right hand side. In order for you to put the rear one, there is like a little plastic tab that's under the bumper thing and two in the wheel area. So you're gonna remove the two star screws from the wheel area and then you're gonna replace them with the Phillips screw uh, screws that we added in the front. and. I'm gonna show you real quick. All right, so when we're looking here, this is the first screw up here, and this is the second one. 
And then for the plastic tab, this is it. This is what we're gonna remove and uh, we're gonna install the rear mud guard, this guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove those screws and come back. So I took that plastic tab, um, I used a, a small flathead screwdriver and it just came right out. It's stuck in a bumper, um, it's like one of those thumb tack, plastic thumbtacks. Um, Alright, so the installation is fairly simple. You're gonna put it up on the uh, slots right here and then you're gonna just use your screws. Phillips screws, Phillips screws, now it's going to be a little tedious to do it here because on the front you can maneuver but here I don't know if it's easier for you to remove the wheel I'm not going to remove it uh, I have a small screwdriver that I'm going to use or a little Allen thing that I'm, I could use to tighten this it's going to be a little tedious but I think I can manage that Now let me tighten those up um, and then you're gonna install the plastic this new plastic one that you removed the retainer clip all right let me get this done and I'll come back all right guys so here I tightened these two screws up one here one there and then one on the bottom uh, I will try to show you guys it's a little hard to change the angle so that's it right there the Philip one that's the new one I added and that's how you do it that's how you install the mud guards on Hyundai Santa Fe it's not that hard the the rear one are a little tedious because I don't want it to remove the tires I mean if you do it's much easier but since I didn't want it to do it I have to use this one of these Allen wrench with a screwdriver on a Phillips screwdriver on the other side and it was just oh my god so painful with my thumb tightening this thing um, but it's user-friendly type of thing that you could do it yourself um, and save yourself money by installing it yourself I don't think it takes more than 30 minutes installing all four of them instead of paying dealership $95 per hour or whatsoever um, and premium on the uh, mud guards so you can pick these up yourself and install it um, hope I help you guys uh, with installation and all the basics that you need um, if you do like my videos please hit like and subscribe to my channel for additional video thank you for watching have a great day